Policy Matters Ohio reports the Buckeye State is last in the nation when it comes to income level needed to qualify for daycare assistance, and it's having a growing impact on working families who can't afford daycare and daycare providers who are having trouble meeting rising costs and staying open. If I don't have the proper credentials, I don't have the care. Now I don't have a job. So how do I work and provide and feed my children? Angie Smith is a Northeast Ohio mother of three who understands the financial burden of growing child care costs firsthand, providing early child care education for her 19 month old son at a time when an expanding number of Ohio working families are having trouble qualifying for state daycare assistance. When we're faced with what we're faced with every day, a lot of families are not fortunate and they're kind of just stuck with what the system offers. How do we manage those skyrocketing costs? Ohio daycare providers like Joan Hamm and Children First of Cleveland located downtown are also feeling the pinch with rising costs for everything. Hamm says she's losing working families as clients because Ohio income guidelines to qualify for state daycare assistance vouchers aren't keeping pace with inflation. I've been doing this for 40 years and this year we have lost more families because they couldn't get their vouchers renewed than ever before. According to this new Policy Matters Ohio report, Ohio is ranked last in the country with a working family of four not allowed to make more than 145% of the federal poverty level or about $45,000 a year to qualify for state child care assistance. We also need to look at those income guidelines because in many cases, families qualify today, but in a year don't qualify. It's really re reaching some crisis points. Um, the sector's not really recovered after the pandemic. Policy Matters Ohio Operations Specialist Ali Smith says Governor DeWine's Child Care Choice Voucher Program, calling for families making up to 200 percent of the poverty level, while now qualifying for state daycare assistance, will help. But will it be enough to address a growing income to cost of living gap? A parent who's working full time with two kids in child care, the first $10.52 of every hour that they work is going to child care, which, as you know, is higher than Ohio's minimum wage. And Policy Matters Ohio says the Buckeye State needs to take a look at what other states are doing. New Mexico put child care funding on the ballot, and now families who are making up to 400 percent of the federal poverty level are eligible for free child care assistance, Rob, and getting more people back into the workforce. Yeah.